Hi, it's Janaki. We are making kale chips, me and this thing. <laughs> That's nice. That's my thing. Uh, we have some going right now in the dehydrator. If you don't have a dehydrator, you can use your oven on the lowest setting and perhaps even leave the door a little bit ajar. This recipe, I uh, was talking on the phone to a friend of mine, Misha, and she's crunching. She's like, I'm eating like the world's best kale chips ever. And I'm like, did you say kettle chips? And she goes, no kale chips. I'm like, crunch it, let me hear it. And she crunched it and they're super crunchy. So they're not chips, but they are delish. We have one bunch of kale here, washed and torn apart. Okay. This looks dirty because it is, because we already made you one batch so that at the end we can pull it out and crunch our chip. But we have here a quarter of a cup of water, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, and about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, which I use now shoyu, which is, I've told you before, like the raw food, you know, in thing to do. I'll show you real quick. In case you didn't see that video or again, make sure you that that is it. Okay. So um Misha sent me the recipe and she actually got it. It's our recipe's a little different because that's what we do. But she actually got it from Detroit Evolution, DetroitEvolution.com. Misha has this thing where you do like really cool things on the silk and the trippies. And her studio is in, also in Detroit called uh, Detroit Fly House. Tablespoon, is that right? About a tablespoon? A tablespoon of nutritional yeast because I love it. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of um, cayenne pepper. A handful of parsley and one green onion. You could also put in here. Um, a little like molasses type stuff or maple syrup or agave and some tomatoes and make barbecue kale chips. Here is about a quarter of a cup of tahini and about the same of cashew butter. Cashew butter. This thing says cashew butter. You know what, it's like uh, 11 o'clock at night right now. We've had one of those days, nothing has gone quite right. I should show you the cake that uh, this thing is. Can get complete credit for. Half a lemon juice. If you don't have one of these, these are awesome. And then it has this thing. Look. Well, I can't get it out right now. But the other side is for lime or the Myers lemons and then it has oh there it went see and then it has a little measuring thing so it's awesome awesome that's my latest word for some twisted reason okay we have everything in there that's it that's all we have to put in there and blend laughing and she's trying really hard to be quiet. That's not so nice. Sometimes this thing is not so nice. But I love her anyway. And she, if she felt like not being completely shy, would say, I'm not so nice, you're not so nice. But you know, whatever. I would never say that. <laughs> right. Okay, so now I'm tossing my kale in this delish sauce which my face I know it didn't look so delish but it's just because it's strong because it has to turn out like chips mmm 
Isn't that yummy? I don't know if it looks yummy to you, but it is yummy. And then these disappear, as they always do. And in comes my tray. And again, like I said, it's dirty because I had I would just make some chips and it's late at night and we're getting a little bit on the lazy side. So I'm gonna really make sure these are well coated and I'm even kind of pushing on the, the kale a little bit so it's kind of bruised so it really sucks it up. And then we put it on the tray, spread it out. Um, so you could put it, if you don't have a dehydrator, which not everybody does, you could put it on a cookie sheet. And again, the lowest setting you want to do. And um, we even leave the door open. And for about four hours, it'll be crunchy. Then you'll know they're done. They won't be soggy anymore. So what I did was I started them off on this and then I put them on my screens. Um, you know, sometimes I make a bigger production out of cooking than it needs to be. So you probably don't even need to do that. But I did it because I wanted the I wanted this Teflon sheet to make some more. Okay. Ooh, we got lots of juice in there. We could even do a whole nother head of kale with this juice. Actually, because I have to go shopping tomorrow, we might save this juice and do another head of kale just for... My, brother, my one brother says shits and giggles. That's what came... Just for shits and giggles. What does that mean? Does that make any sense? Shits and giggles? First of all, it's a swear word. Second of all, I wouldn't put the two together. But, you know, it's a boy, so what can you say? These are going to go into the dehydrator. My dehydrator, if you look at that one website, I've actually never been there. They say, the recipe says to do it for um, 145 for two hours. Oh, 145 for two hours. I, I'm from the school that it shouldn't be over 115 degrees. So I do 115 four hours. Here they are. Isn't that cool? Look, I don't know what this is. They're really, oops, that one's not done. Here. Mmm, let's sing that time. Someday. <laughs> okay, well, enjoy your kale chips. We will. And thanks for coming. Have a good whatever it is, where you are. Bye.